Hello, I'm Charlotte and this is Books and Bargains. Today I'm going off a little off piste, but I hope you like the video. This is neither a book or a bargain, although technically this week I had offer codes for both of these things, so I guess you could class it as a bargain. But I wanted to share with you, um, I've been trying out for the past couple of weeks HelloFresh and Gusto boxes. I have never bought a meal plan subscription before, but I found at the moment we're the kind of people that used to pop into the supermarket three or four times a week and were very kind of mood eaters. I wasn't good at recipe planning and I would tell you that I couldn't cook. So we used to go in so often. But with the government lockdown rules, we haven't been doing that. So I found that I was living off freezer meals and just feeling a little bit lacking in inspiration shall we say so i found a couple of codes online and i will link these codes below for you to use them this video isn't sponsored but if you do use either of these codes you get some money off your box and i get some money off mine too so it works out well both and that means it works out well for both of us so i tried out the hello fresh delivery service and the gusto and at the end of this video i'll give you a comparison on which one I like the most but for now I just want to give you a few little facts. So with HelloFresh you can get a box for two or three people and you can get three four or five meals or for four people you can get three or four meals. You can also add extras such as wine, desserts and utensils but we didn't do that because I'm not really a dessert person, which being a bigger girl, everybody always finds a bit strange. But at home, I generally don't have desserts. I have got a sweet tooth. I will happily snack on donuts and pastries, but I'm always full after a meal. I don't know if that's the thing with my IBS. I get full really quickly. But so we didn't order any of the added extras. And then with Gusto, you can buy it for two or four people and you can get two, three or four recipes per week. Both the boxes you can sign up for weekly, fortnightly or monthly. So if I had have liked both boxes equally, I would have probably done them fortnightly and gone one each week, one the next. But I'm not going to tell you which one's my favourite. So let's just get into the vlog style cooking. I will say now there's a couple of the recipes that I barely vlogged anything and that's just because I got so wrapped up in the actual cooking. The cooking for me was like therapy. That is one thing I will say about this box. One of the Gusto box, I didn't plan my days very well. So it meant that some of the ingredients would go out of date if I left them to a non-working day. And I was a bit cheesed off that I'd have to come home after 12 hours and cook. But I actually really enjoyed it. It meant that I couldn't think about work, couldn't think about the day. I just had to focus. And it was pretty mindful. I've been struggling a bit with mindfulness. But cooking is one thing that I could just focus on and it was great. So anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get into the vlog style. So our HelloFresh box has just arrived. This is our first one. It can come anytime between 7am, no, 8am and 7pm. And it's just come about quarter past five. We got a text this morning saying that it would be delivered between half four and half five. So it's bang on time. And I'm just going to open it up. So the meals that we've gone for this week are the sweet potato and bacon orzo, the cheese and caramelised onion pork steaks, and the meatballs and bacon and onion gravy. So each of these bags has a number on it which corresponds to the recipe we'll be making. And then in this bag here is all of our chilled meat and things. So I'm just going to open that up. So I've just separated so that the, it said to put everything in the fridge. So I've made sure that everything is in the bags. So I've got my three meals here. We're going to have one on Thursday, one on Friday and one on Sunday. So I'll show you when I'm cooking them. So I'm about to make my first HelloFresh meal, which is the sweet potato and bacon orzo. I'm just going to get all my ingredients out. I've got the oven preheating and I've got a large pan of water ready to boil. Fingers crossed this goes well. So this recipe has creme fraiche, apple cider vinegar, 
sweet potato, tomato, smoked bacon, orzo, chicken stock, cheese, spinach and chives. So let's get cooking. So this is the expectation. This is the reality. I don't think that looks bad at all. The butternut squash is obviously a lot bigger on this one, but that's how it came. I didn't chop that. My husband has dumped the rest of the chilli on top of his, so hope we enjoy it. So tonight we're making our second HelloFresh meal. We've got the meatballs and bacon and onion gravy. I've got a pan of water on boiling and I'm just going to get out the ingredients. So for this one, we have pork mince, beef mince, smoked bacon lardons, a red onion, broccoli, potatoes, chicken stock powder, cheese, Italian herbs and red currant jelly. So meatballs and bacon and onion gravy, expectation versus reality. I'm a little bit disappointed with the broccoli, that just looks dry and burnt, but the rest of it smells delicious. So let's taste it and see. So I'm on to the last day of this Hello Fresh box and we've got cheese and caramelised onion pork steaks. Just got my ingredients here. This one doesn't have as many ingredients, but I have noticed just from looking at the bag that some of the greens have started to go slightly brown which I'm not overly impressed with seeing as it's a weekly meal bag and looking at the dates on the meat this was the last one that I could do so I had to leave this one till last so expectation versus reality Again, I think that looks quite good. The portion sizes are huge on the carbs, but I'm looking forward to digging into that. So today we've had delivery of the Gusto box. I quite like this. It says, Dear Courier, please be extra careful when handling this box. No one likes a bruised vegetable. I've ordered four, bu four books. <laughs> I've ordered four meals this week. So opening it up, I've got my four recipes here. We have got crispy chilli beef and coriander noodles we have one pot creamy chicken and spinach orzo we have Baja style fish tacos with coriander mayo and the recipe that we're going to be having tonight the American cheeseburger and potato wedges so on opening the box I'm a little bit disappointed that everything's really bashed I don't know if you can see that but that brioche burn is completely battered and the herbs look a little bit lacklustre but we will see how we get on with cooking it. So all the meat and fridge stuff was packed in a cardboard box which is all fully recyclable. It all looks really good quality meat and yeah I'm more impressed with that than the cupboard stuff so I'm just going to put it all away now. Tonight we've got American cheeseburger and potato wedges. I'm particularly excited by this um, you do your own pickles which I think is pretty cool and I've got all my ingredients out here so let's get started so first goose day meal expectation versus reality and we'll see what it tastes like so I've just got in from a 12 hour shift, really don't want to be cooking tonight but because of the dates on these I have to. So tonight I'm making one pot creamy chicken and spinach orzo, here are all my ingredients and then things that I had to add myself, milk, salt and pepper, olive oil and I'm being lazy, I cannot be bothered to chop up the garlic so I'm using garlic granules today. So expectation versus reality. My orzos always seem to look a bit more like mush, but I've already tasted this and it tastes delicious. 
so this is another after work meal I think next time I'll pick my meals a bit more carefully because there's a lot of ingredients and things in this but it's crispy chilli beef and coriander noodles so I've just got all my ingredients here and I'm ready to cook so expectation versus reality I've tried this, this is a bit too spicy for me, even though I only put half the chilli in and Tom's got the rest of the chilli chomped up on top of his. So it's our last Gusto meal of the week and we've got these Baja style fish tacos with coriander mayo. Got all my ingredients there, so let's get cooking. So expectation versus reality. I didn't film much of the cooking of this one because I had to focus on it, but it looks delicious. And this is the one that I'm most looking forward to trying. After the two weeks, there are three big things that I wanted to really rate these boxes on. And the first one was the packaging slash delivery. Both of them had a 12 hour delivery window. So they could come from any time between 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. that day. For one ninety nine, you can upgrade on both, I think, but I'm not totally sure, to a four-hour delivery slot in the morning. At the moment, with lockdown, I didn't really see the point in that. But I think going forward, if I stick with these long-term, when things are back open, I would pay that one ninety nine just so that I could free up my afternoon. But at the moment, I'd be in the house anyway on these days, so it didn't seem too bad to have to wait in. Both had... A, I got a text message on the morning from the couriers giving me a one hour delivery window I think, or two hour delivery window. So that was good. So I knew exactly what time it was coming. HelloFresh wins hands down on the storage. The box was a lot sturdier and none of my ingredients got crushed. Whereas you will have seen in the gusto that my herbs and my buns got crushed. The buns were underneath some potatoes. And another thing that I liked about HelloFresh is that they had big bags that I could even so in delivery the both in both boxes the chilled stuff comes in a separate container but with the HelloFresh the bags that the other ingredients came in were big enough that I could then just pop them in my fridge put all the chilled stuff in and then just pull out the bag on the day whereas Gusto I know this sounds like a total first world problem but Gusto had these really tiny little bags with things in so I couldn't put everything together in the fridge but that wouldn't put me off it. I was just saying I preferred the HelloFresh one, but that's not enough of a reason for me to go with HelloFresh. On ingredient quality, they were both equal. I thought the ingredients were brilliant. The meat was like butcher style. I'm not big on my meat anyway. Like I, I think I said earlier, I don't really like mints. Um, and <laughs> although I picked a lot of recipes with mints in, it's really, me and my husband between us both have different tastes on things. I think if it was up to me, We'd have um, all veggie or pescatarian meals. But obviously there's two of us here and we have to make sure that we're both happy. Like I love aubergine and he doesn't. I'm going off on a tangent. But yeah, the ingredient quality in both of them was fantastic. I couldn't fault that. And But on the options and dates. So when you pick your gusto box, each recipe tells you that this needs to be used within and it's either two to three days, three to four, four to five, five to six. So it meant that when I was planning for the week, if I knew it was going to be delivered on the Tuesday, I could make sure that I picked recipes. If like I wouldn't pick all that were two to three days because I'd get four recipes and I wouldn't be able to eat them all. Whereas HelloFresh didn't have that option and I found a couple of the recipes by the end of the week, the meat was fine, but the veg had started to go brown. So I wasn't overly impressed with that. Also, when it comes to options, like I say, I wanted to do this for two weeks, but when I looked at HelloFresh and Gusto for next week, there were only one or two on HelloFresh that I thought were really worth it, whereas Gusto has a lot more options. Also in Gusto, they separate it, so you have a lot more plant-based options on Gusto, which I would like to get into, and... You also have a lot of Joe Wicks, although to be honest, I was really disappointed with Gusto next week because there's a really nice looking chicken and butter bean stew, but it comes with couscous and neither of us would eat couscous. So that's one thing I would, 
I don't know if this would be logistically possible, but I would like for them to let you swap out the carb because in a lot of it, the potato wedges from both boxes, I just didn't like, but I would try them in my active fry next time. In conclusion to that, we are going to be going with Gusto next time and we're going to be sticking with it at least for now. I don't know whether you'd like me to do videos each week showing what I've had from the boxes. Let me know below. I will just share with you my top recipes that I had this week and it was one from each box so for me I enjoyed the Baja style fish tacos with coriander mayo and the sweet potato and bacon orzo both of those I'm going to be hanging on to the recipes to make again myself in the future my husband on the other hand his favorites were the crispy chili beef and the burgers I enjoyed the burgers and would make them again but the crispy chili beef was not my thing I don't like ginger and it was far too spicy for me so I hope you've enjoyed that video. Like I said earlier, if you do decide to sign up for either of these boxes, I'll pop my codes in the box below, which gets both of us a little bit of money off our next boxes. And until next time, look after yourselves and keep safe. Bye.